All right, here we are again, and for the final portion of uh, Lecture 21 of CENG 4412 Steel and Concrete Design, I just wanted to go uh, down and describe a few hole types. And so you noticed previously I referenced type STD, a standard hole type. And so STD stands for standard. And so I would like to go down and describe uh, various hole types and where they can be used for. That previous example didn't take very long, so I think I have time to cover some basic hole types. Um, bold hole types can be good to know. So first of all, we have designation STD. This is our standard hole type. A standard round hole, basically bog standard round hole nothing fancy a standard round hole and so you'll have the actual bolt with an area like this and then your bolt hole slightly larger around this this is definitely uh, exaggerated but the diameter of the hole is going to be equal to the diameter of the bolt uh, plus 1 16th of an inch And then um, for the rest of these, the direction of the loading is going to be like this. Uh, direction of loading. Direction of load will be like this. Uh, and so when can we use this? Well, we can use this for, um, let's see, for the SDD uh, standard round hole, the standard hole. This can be used for SC, which is slip critical. Uh, X and N uh, connections. So basically everything. Uh, one size fits all. Uh, one size fits all, so for SC, X, and N connections. Then we have OVS, which are oversized holes. OVS, oversized round holes. This is where you have, well, just to, as it describes, it's right in the box, it's an oversized hole. So you're going to have a diameter much larger than DB, than just DB plus 1 16th. You'd have, I don't know, an eighth, a quarter, something like that. And this is allowed only for SC, for slip critical connections only. So it would have you'd have your hole like your bolt like this, and then a much larger uh, hole like this. Again, exaggerated even more than the previous one. And the whole idea of this is that uh, now you may, see, you may think at first, what good would this hole do? It would not even be joining to the bolt. Well, the head of the bolt would still be much larger than this. And if you remember, the whole point of slip critical connections is to clamp these two plates together. And that clamping, and so because the uh, the plates are going to be forced together under a massive amount of tension, you can get away with using a bit larger hole. And yes. Uh, if you use that big of a hole diameter on a regular bolt, that thing would tend to wobble and rattle around a bit, which wouldn't be good. But for a clamp down type of connection, a uh, slip critical connection, that's not going to be uh, too con too much of a concern because the sheer friction, the, just the raw friction, is going to prevent any type of uh, movement. Then we have SSL, which are uh, uh, which are going to be short slotted holes. SSL stands for short slotted hole, or I shouldn't say stands for, I should say more designates. And again, this is, uh, well, this is going to be used for SC connections only as well. And so if you have your bolt here, here the bolt is positioned into a very short slot. So something kind of like this. Oh, that doesn't look good there. More, I want to have a clear slot like this. Kind of like that. Oh, more like that actually. And then with that little egg thing erased. And or I could also draw this. Now the slip critical connection, it could be either or. Uh, because this is for slip critical connection and this thing is not going to be able to wobble around, 
we could position the slot in either direction. And the reason you would do this, why would you do this? Well, often you'll do this um, because you might actually, this might help with fabrication. If you're having a dis difficult access location, you might have a, a slot that you could then slide the thing into place uh, and that allows uh, fabrication easier. Then we have LSLT. Uh, this would be a long slotted hole traverse. Again, keep in mind the direction of loading is like this. A hole traverse or transverse. I'll say traverse. And this is allowed for pretty much everything. This is SC. X and N connections. And the reason we can get away with this is because of the direction the uh, slot is aligned. So we have our bolt like this, our actual bolt, and this is going to be a very long slot like this, but notice it's only long in one direction. So our bolt it's going to be loaded in the vertical direction here as I've drawn it. And in that vertical direction, it is bearing right up against the plate. It's There's not a lot of gap. There's only a 1 16th inch gap here or here. But in the other direction, the direction it's not even being loaded, there is a longer uh, direction. There's a longer slot. And again, this is mainly for fabrication purposes. And then there's also LSLP. These stand for, these stand for long slotted hole parallel. This is kind of the perpendicular of this. Uh, traverse there, get that E properly. A uh, whole uh, parallel. And this is for uh, SC uh, connections only, only for slip critical connections. And so here would be your bolt hole, uh, here would be your bolt and your long slot would be aligned uh, along the direction of loading. Obviously, well maybe not obviously, but hopefully obviously, uh, if you tried to, if you had a non-slip critical connection, just a regular connection, and you tried to load this thing like this, uh, well that wouldn't work so well. That, that thing would just go sliding right down the slot. Now again though, for a, for a, uh, for a uh, slip critical connection, we're gonna have a big head on this bolt and it's gonna clamp down on that plate with such great force that the plates are just gonna be bonded together through sheer frictional force. And because of that, the actual hole dimensions can be a bit wonky without having any uh, major problems with loading. All right, now that, this at last, at long last, finally will be the last video of lecture uh, 21 of CENG 4412. Hope you've enjoyed watching these. I've had a little fun making these. And as always, uh, thank you.